Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. I am David Kersley. In today's video, I want to talk about a method you might explore and it might help you model faster using what I refer to as a feature first workflow. And this is where we select the feature before starting a sketch. Let's take a look at using the feature first workflow. So I'm in a new part and it's called feature first. And if I go to my feature tabs up here, you'll notice that these are grayed out, right? And these are ghosted out. But what I can select is either extruded boss base or evolved boss base. And I can do things like reference geometry or curves, okay? And I know that I want to start with an extrude boss base. So I've got it added to my S key. When I hit my S key, my shortcut manager comes up and I've got extrude boss base right there, okay? If you don't have that on your command manager, Go ahead and add it, and you can add it by typing it in here. There it is. And all I have to do is hit the plus, and that will add it. Okay? Or I can just pick here, and that will execute the command as well. In our case, we've already got it up here, so I'm going to hit the S key again. I'm going to left-click on the feature. Now, normally we would have started with a sketch here. This time we started with the feature. I want to start on the top plane, so I'm picking the plane, and notice where I'm at. You'll notice at the bottom right of my screen it says editing sketch one, and if I look at the top of the screen it says sketch one, okay? Now this is my confirmation center here, whether I want to approve what's on the sketch or I want to cancel it. And we're gonna we're gonna show you a quick way to, to, to do a confirmation here in just a second. So I'm gonna hit my S key. I've got a center rectangle already populated here or added. And I'm going to type in 3, enter, and 6, enter. Okay? Now, from here, notice that I've got, again, that confirmation center right here. Well, I'm going to move my mouse to right here. And I'm going to hit the D key. And the D key on your keyboard moves that confirmation center right to where your mouse was pointing. All right? So from here, all I have to do is say, okay. Okay? Now watch what happens. I'm automatically in the feature. All I have to do is come over to the left and type in my value of 0.5. And as soon as I hit 0.5, I can right mouse click and I've executed that command. So I was able to use a couple things to model faster. One, I went feature first. I used my S key and then I used the D key. All right, let's do it again. Okay, so I'm gonna pick my S key and notice because we have a solid body, I can do things like extruded cut. So I'm gonna pick an extruded cut. And it's going to ask me, do I want to pick a planar face? Or I can come over to my flyout feature tree and go start on a plane or whatever I needed, okay? In this case, I'm going to pick this top face. I'm going to hit S key. Ooh, let's do something sneaky here. I'm going to drop in a slot, okay? And I didn't dimension it, okay? So I want to add dimensions. I don't see anything here, but notice... My pencil still thinks it's there. So if I hit the escape key one time and then I right click, I can go to fully defined sketch. Okay. And from here, all I have to do is hit the D key, green check. And notice that I did a fully defined sketch and I can come in here and let's make this 1.0 now. And I know that I want this to be three eighths. Okay, there's the slot. And that looks good. I'm gonna hit my D key and I'm gonna say, okay to accepting this sketch. And now all I have to do is rotate this model around, double pick the back face. And this is now populated in my up to surface. And if I hit the D key or I can just hit the green check, either one, okay? In that case, I just hit the green check. Pretty cool. All right, now, another little tip and trick. If I hold down, if I have two files open and I hit the control and the tab key at the same time, Notice that what happened, it took me to the other file that was open on screen. If I have three or four or five files open and you hold down the control tab key, it'll display all of the files you have open like this, okay? Then I could just pick the one I want. If I hit control tab, it just switches back. So if you have a part and a drawing open, it's a quick way to go back and forth between the two. So I'm gonna hit control tab. I'm gonna go back to my feature first and I'm gonna call this my surface file here. Let's go to the surfaces tab and see what's available. Again, I've got reference geometry and curves over here, but 
these two are available. Okay, so if I go to my S key, my shortcut ma command manager, notice I've got extruded surface there. So I'm gonna pick on it. I'm gonna pick on the front plane. I'm gonna hit my S key. Let's go grab a spline. And we'll be like a Bob Ross painting. We're gonna give you full creative freedom, right? I'm hit escape. I'm hit my D key, execute. And notice what happens. I can now come over here and make this surface however I want. I'm gonna do a mid plane. Let's do something kind of crazy. Let's make a big surface, right? I'm happy with that. We can hit the green check if you want. One way to get there. All right, let's do it again. I'm going to hit the S key this time. And this time I'll do a revolve surface. Okay. And this time let's go up here to our fly out feature tree. And we'll just hit the right plane. Let's do front plane. Okay. I'm going to hit my S key. And I've got the uh, center line command already added. So I'm going to say let's use this as our center line. Oh, and we're just going to plop it here. Let's make another little spline here. Get my inference line, boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna hit escape. I'm gonna hit my D key, confirm. And what I'm doing is by, by using that D key is I'm just saving moving across the key, the screen here. And I just hit the D and I execute the command and I have to adjust these, but I could trim one using the other. So that's the uh, feature uh, first workflow. And again, use your S and your D keys. They'll, they'll definitely save you some time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below. If you have a topic you'd like to cover in a future video, let us know. You can also visit our website, goengineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more technical resources. This is David. Now go engineer something amazing.